Tanisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers. Thank you, thank you. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Scorpies, uh, I was guided by Spirit to do something a little bit different today. You know, you got to mix it up because uh, uh, routine makes me bored. <laughs> okay, and Spirit knows that. So Spirit's like, Kish, just shake up things a bit. So it has been um, placed upon my heart to do a series uh, called 5D Conversations. So it's uh, guidance and advice from Spirit in areas of your life, such as money, career, love, spirituality, and health. Uh, this advice is given to you to help you shift your personal paradigm to that of 5D consciousness, uh, what they would call Christ consciousness or unity consciousness. So this light will resonate with those of you that are on a conscious path to elevate your life and are in the process of ascension, or in other words, waking the fuck up from the illusion of the 3D matrix. You are creators of the new earth. So this is just gui guidance and advice from spirit on how to go about doing that. You know, in order to affect the uh, collective consciousness, you have to deal with your own shit first, right? So in order to help heal others, you have to heal yourself. And this is all that spirit is um, guiding you and, and helping you to navigate the choppy waters of this planet, um, helping you how to create the best world for yourself so that you affect the conscious collective consciousness in a positive way. You know, this is how you help to um, raise your vibration and hold the frequency you hold the light on this planet. You know, new earth is, the paradigm shift is creating new earth and new earth is not somewhere that you go to. New earth is somewhere that you create. We are creating new earth. We are um, anchoring 5D consciousness on this planet. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so spirit told me this is going to be for a specific group of you. So if this resonates for you, smash that like button. This is for you. Spirit wants to get a few words out to you directly. You will know if this is for you or not. It either resonates or it doesn't resonate. Okay, so Scorpio, with that being said, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And let's jump right in, baby. So we have here six of coins, queen of coins. We have a lot of coins here, Scorpio. Nine of coins. Money, 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 money. We have three of wands in reverse. And we have ten of cups in reverse. Okay. So um, right off the bat, for your paradigm shift, Scorpio, Spirit wants you to, uh, I'm hearing, you're already a very generous person, very loving, very kind. Uh, Spirit wants you to share your wealth. Also, Spirit wants you to not be afraid to ask for help. If you need something just that's how the universe blesses you right you can ask but in order to receive you have to let the universe use other people to give right so spirit wants you to not be afraid to let someone know that you need help in a certain area or that you need something period because there is help all around you spirit wants you to know that you are very very blessed and as a master manifester the universe is using other people to bless you and to show you um your blessings so also I kept hearing for you to be true to your calling. Mm -hmm. A lot of you Scorpios, you are in the process of stepping into your purpose. This planet is going through a mass awakening. So as you wake up to this uh, 5D consciousness, this unity consciousness, Christ consciousness, you start to be realize that it's not just about you. It is about all of us. But in order for us to focus on the collective, we have to focus on ourselves. You see the beauty of the universe? <laughs> in order to, for us all to get right, we got to get right with ourselves. You know what I'm hearing? Um, I'm hearing that Michael Jackson song. I'm talking to the man in the mirror. Woo, love me some Michael. So Spirit wants you to continue to um, uh, better yourself and improve on yourself. Mm -hmm. Be true to yourself. Be loyal to yourself because you have the keys to your abundance. You have the keys to your happiness. You have the keys to what it is you are here to do on this planet. Uh, some of you in this collective I'm speaking to, you are star seeds. You're not even from this planet, <laughs> okay? So spirit wants you to be true to your mission. Um, it's time for you to, I'm hearing, get involved get to work, I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. 
But Spirit also wants you to continue to carry this energy of gratitude. Gratitude brings latitude, right? The more grateful you are, believe me, you will get very far with that energy, right? It carries you places. Um, it holds you in this energy of just attracting good things to you. And Spirit wants you to keep having that. Uh, Scorpio, and I feel your energy. I just feel really appreciative of everything right just being here i know me personally for myself community i love you guys so much and i'm not talking shit i don't talk shit i don't have time for that <laughs> okay <laughs> so i am genuinely appreciative of every single one of you uh just because you let me know that i am on the right track because you let me know that um what i'm doing allows me to be happy within myself right i i am very very uh grateful for the fact that i am I'm on my mission and I'm helping those who I'm supposed to help and they're helping who they're supposed to. And it's just this huge domino effect and I absolutely love it. So I personally want to thank all of you for allowing me to do this and, and for you for gravitating towards my energy, you know. So we are creating a community in itself of holding the light, uh, anchoring uh, 5D consciousness on this planet. So Spirit wants you all to remember to be loyal and be in your truth because your truth is going to bring abundance for you if it's not doing it so already. For some of you, Scorpios, you are in a position where you can give to others or you are going to be in a position where you can give to others very soon. Money is not, let me say that again, money is not going to be a problem for you, Scorpio. I've done a couple readings for you and it's like your bank account's going to be laughing at you like, girl, boy, <laughs> you got this, okay? Money's not an issue. Whatever you need, you will be blessed with. Whatever you want, you will be blessed with. Why? Because you are generous. You are generous with your time. You are generous with your energy. You are generous with your love. And that is going to come back to you, I'm hearing 10 times, 100 times over, right? What you give out to the universe is what the universe is going to give you right back, baby. So Scorpios, you keep going in this direction, you are on the right path, and this is shifting your world for you. Some of you, you were experiencing, you could have been experiencing restrictions or lack, or there was a cycle in your life where just people, you were giving to people, but people weren't giving to you. Scorpio, Spirit wants you to be true to yourself and remember to give to yourself first, because you starting to be generous with yourself, this opened, I'm hearing a portal. You opened a portal or you stepped into a portal where uh, you your energy shifted. So people started to see, you know what? Scorpio really loves themselves and Scorpio is taking care of themselves. So I can't come to Scorpio with no bullshit now. I have to be on the same shit that Scorpio's on. A lot of you, Scorpio, when you started to take care of your stuff and start to give to yourself, people started to do that with you as well. Mm -hmm. It was your energy. This is your paradigm shift. This is the world that you are creating for yourself, Scorpio. And Spirit wants you to keep moving in this vein. You have really, really good things now to be grateful for and really good things that are coming into your future. Mm -hmm. Remain loyal to your mission. Remain loyal to your purpose. Remain loyal to yourself. And you are going to attract people like that. And this is a segue into what is going on with you for love. So for those of you, in this new world you are creating for yourself, you have queen of coins, right? And that's clarified by maiden. Some of you, you are going to be feeling young again mm -hmm. because you are being restored back to health. You are, your finances are being restored. Mm -hmm. Your whole world is being restored. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing it's being brought back into balance. So stability, security, growth, abundance, that is yours now. That is yours for the taking. Not even spirit said that's yours for the making. This is about you manifesting what you want. A lot of you too, you are in this space of um, creating, uh, you could be creating a business or expanding, learning something, whatever it is that you are expanding in, ex whatever it is that you are learning, it is going to bring in more bank for you. Some of you, spirit is, hmm. <laughs> Some of you uh, at night, you get dreams mm -hmm. or when you meditate, you get ideas, write them down or record them in your phone or whatever, but write them down because this is your spirit guides. This is your, some of you, this is your galactic team, right? Helping you to remember uh, your marching orders. Uh, some of you, the things that you are going to be creating, they're going to create streams of income for you, but really it's just your mission. You are here to do this anyway. This was the part of the grand plan the whole time. Mm-hmm. 
While you help others, you help yourself. A lot of you in this new world that you're creating for yourself, this paradigm shift, you're going to be sitting pretty. Mm -hmm. Like I said, money's not going to be a problem for you. And it's because you are generous with others and you're generous with yourself. Mm -hmm. Someone likes the finer things in life. <laughs> and there ain't nothing wrong with that, Scorpio. You deserve it. Now, when it comes to love, Scorpio wants you, uh, Scorpio, a <laughs> spirit Scorpio wants you to Spirit, what do you want me to say here? <laughs> the messages are coming so fast. Okay, Scorpio, Spirit wants you to pick, choose, and refuse in this cycle of your life. Mm -hmm. You can afford to do that, okay? There's no more, I need to pour into your cup in hopes that you pour into mine. No. Mm -mm. Spirit wants you to make sure that whoever you are attracting into your life is on your level to make sure that you are equally yoked, okay? And what that means is vibrationally. So if you are kind, go for someone that's kind. If you are loving, go for someone that's loving. If you are generous, go for someone that's generous. Mm -hmm. Because all that glitters is not gold. And your energy will know this. Mm -hmm. You will know them by the fruits of their labor. And you will know them by their energy. You will feel them. You will feel the connection. So no, in this, in this new paradigm for you, this new world that you're creating, Scorpios, people can't come with bullshit to you, eh? Because <laughs> you will know. Your energy will pick up on that shit immediately. Mm -hmm. And Spirit said, use these gifts that you have to discern. Use your gift of discernment. And it's not like you're saying you're better than anyone. It's just that you're saying you're past low vibrational, lower quality experiences. You're past those things. You're done with those things. A lot of you too, Spirit, you, you are going to be meeting the person of your dreams. Mm -hmm. Someone who's just like you, energetically, you're going to match. Yes. And this person is going to, they are going to love you unconditionally. This person... They're going to see you for your worth. They're going to see you for who you really are, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. This is going to be someone that you can be your complete, total, authentic self with. Mm -hmm. They actually encourage that. This is someone who's going to be supportive, someone who is going to be interested in the things that you're doing. I just heard fascinated. Some of you, you are... Um, High level spiritual teacher, master teachers, yes. And the person that you attract, I'm hearing like a student teacher dynamic. You're both going to teach each other things, learn from each other. But this person is going to be fascinated at your gifts. Mm -hmm. They're just, they won't be able to get enough of you. But a lot of you, too, spirit wants you to know that there is someone coming into your life, a new love interest uh, a higher vibrational soulmate this person is um i'm hearing the same trajectory as you so the same path now even though the details may be different uh, the concept of what they, they're learning the lessons that they're learning they're similar to yours you guys are both walking the same path just um you're going through different things to get there so your destination is the same it's just the the things that play out, the experiences that play out may be a bit different. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, your vibration matches. Mm -hmm. This is someone who is confident, just like you. Someone who is loyal, just like you. Someone who has high self-esteem, just like you. Someone who is following their dreams, just like you. Mm -hmm. Equally yoked. You are going to meet someone who is equally yoked. Mm -hmm. And they want the same things that you want. They want a family. They want a real relationship. They want some stability, security. Mm -hmm. This person, uh, this person is going to bring happiness into your life because you're already happy, Scorpio. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is really, really good. This is really good, Scorpio. And I just feel like you, a lot of you, you deserve this. You deserve this because you went through initiation. You passed a test. Some of you, you passed those tests with flying motherfucking colors. Some of the stuff that you went through, other signs would not be able to deal with it. They wouldn't. Mm -mm. And you passed that shit with flying colors and you are being rewarded by spirit, by the universe for a job well done. A lot of you, you are, um, I'm just hearing you've gotten your wings 
Mm -hmm. A lot of you have um, your reborn phoenix rising. Mm -hmm. And now spirit wants you to know that in this paradigm shift of you, this world that you are creating for yourself, it comes from your uh, higher level of consciousness now, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to attract someone who has a is of a higher level of consciousness too, a higher vibration. So just be patient. Keep focusing on yourself. Keep focusing on your mission. Keep focusing on being loyal to yourself because you just focusing on you is just going to, before you know it, you're, this person is just going to come right in. It's not you looking for anybody. It's you attracting by just being you. It's like a moth to a flame, right? Your light, your vibration is going to bring this person right in. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Now, oh, Scorpio. Hmm. <sighs> you know what I'm hearing with you? Freedom fighters. Mm -hmm. So some of you Scorpios, you want to travel, but you don't want to take the um, vaccine. Yeah. Mm. I have to be careful what I say right now because, you know, YouTube, it can get, it's censored, right? But for those of you that this uh, message is for, you know who you are. Some of you, uh, Spirit wants you to be aware and continue to use your intuition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, some of you, for those of you that uh, are looking to travel uh, and you have to be vaccinated, Spirit wants you to be, uh, uh, make sure that you do your own uh, preparation by preparing your immune system. So make sure you're eating healthy, you're getting lots of rest, you're doing breath work. Uh, some of you, Spirit wants you to like completely switch to organic foods. Mm -hmm. uh, some of you, Spirit wants you to cut down on the coffee, uh, anything with that has caffeine in it, mostly coffee, tea, and start drinking tea, uh, herbal teas. Mm -hmm. For some of you, I'm being told to tell you to uh, switch from milk, uh, cow's milk to uh, like almond milk or uh, coconut milk or uh... spirit just wants you to stop drinking cow's milk mm -hmm. because it's blocking your penile gland and um, in this mass awakening it's time for you to get to work so you, everything needs to be functioning on you spirit some of you is in terms of your health spirit is um guiding you to uh, restoring your health okay that makes sense a lot of you Scorpios in this new world that you're creating in your paradigm shift, you are going to stop doing things like some of you are going to go straight uh, vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is you're being divinely guided to do this. Uh, some of you, too, are going to be doing things like meditate. You're coming up with a healthy routine, meditation on a regular basis, mm -hmm. eating healthy. Someone drinks like green smoothies like every day, like three times a day, and it's really, really good. It is restoring your health. Some of you Scorpios in this new world, and you're, you do not look your age. Mm -hmm. You look a lot younger than you really are, and that is because you're <laughs> in New Earth. You don't age like that, right? Because there's no time. Mm -hmm. And you are being divinely guided on how to uh, align with uh, the vibration. Mm-hmm. So a lot of you, that is why you just, you're starting to feel like you don't want to eat certain things or you want to start doing uh, certain exercises. Uh, some of you are being, I'm seeing some people starting to practice Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Some of you too, you, in terms of your health, it's, um, it's about what you watch, uh, what you listen to. Some of you, your taste for music has changed. Mm -hmm. Someone started listening to 432 Hertz music instead of what the mainstream um, mainstream music. Mm -hmm. Because you find that it lowers your vibration and it just makes you feel shitty. Mm -hmm. You know, you start listening. And don't get twisted. I, I love a trap music, but Spirit had to be like, okay, Keish, we just got to switch it up for you now because your vibration is rising. You listen to high vibrational instrumentals now, right? But I used to love a Rick Ross. Oh my goodness. Right? Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. I'm telling you. <laughs> but you get into that energy where every day I'm hustling. And spirit's like, you need to just lighten up a bit. You know, you need to lighten up a bit. Lighten your energy. 
So a lot of you, you are being um, switched over, I'm hearing, right? And it's just aligning with your paradigm now. Uh, a lot of you, you may not even listen to some of the music. You don't, it doesn't resonate with you anymore. Gangster rap and, and I'm not coming for gangster rap. I like 50 Cent too. But a lot of you, you don't really, you may not be resonating with it anymore. Some of you, you're really, you're changing completely, like complete and total transformation. Who you are now and who you are becoming. When you look back later, you're going to be like, how the fuck? You're not even going to recognize yourself. People are not going to recognize you. Like I said, you're going to look a lot younger if you don't already. I know for some of you right now, Scorpios, people cannot tell how old you are. You look a lot younger than you really are. Mm -hmm. And Spirit is teaching you how to align with um, maintaining that the restoration of your health. Some of you too, you are being worked on at night by your uh, guides and ancestors. Mm -hmm. Some of you too, you are being guarded, like heavily, heavily protected um, against people that lower your vibration. Mm -hmm. They bring a lot of dissatisfaction. They affect your health negatively. Yeah. Can make you stressed, depressed, cause a lot of anxiety, mm -hmm, make you feel sick. Some, some of you, you're so sensitive that when you go around certain people, your back hurts, your stomach hurts, you start feeling sick to your stomach, you start feeling, you just start feeling shitty. Mm -hmm. That's because you're very, very high level sensitive empaths. Mm -hmm. So spirit is teaching you how to protect your energy as well. This is a part of your health, right? Now, remember I said earlier, you got coins, 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 six of coins, queen of coins, nine of coins, money, 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 money. I don't know how many of you watch New Jack City, but that was one of my favorite movies, <laughs> but that's what I heard. So some of you, you are, you're in a really good place financially. And if you're not, you are on your way. Okay. Keep going. You are on your way. You have a level of professionalism. You have a natural charm to you. You have a way of dealing with people. Uh, you attract uh, an audience, right? And it's, it's just by you being you, Scorpio. A lot of you spirit. That's why I said spirit. Um, spirit was saying to take your, I kept hearing, take your mission, um, take your mission, take your purpose seriously, because even though some of you may not intentionally set out to do that way, you're just being you, you are going to attract a following and it is your responsibility to take that role um, seriously because like it or not, you are going to be an influencer mm -hmm. and people are going to be looking up to you. So spirit wants you to know that uh, lead by example, do the right thing for yourself. And this will have a domino effect of teaching others how to inspiring others to change by doing the right thing for themselves as well and doing the right thing for others right? This brings in abundance. This also brings in stability. Mm -hmm. Scorpios, a lot of you, you're on your way if you're not there already to being a sovereign, meaning you don't need anybody. Mm -mm. Financially, you're good, right? Emotionally, you're good. Mentally, you're good. Spiritually, you're good. You don't need nobody. You, you need yourself and you got yourself. Mm -hmm. You worked really fucking hard to get here. Mm-hmm. And you're not questioning it. Some of you too, when it comes to your career, uh, you're not questioning what you're doing because you know you're on the right path. You're starting to see the fruits of your labor. Some of you, you planted some, some seeds. Mm -hmm. Some of you started planting some seeds before this whole um, pandemic started. And now you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. Now you're on the right path. Keep going. It is going to continue to grow. You're at nine of coins. Mm -hmm. Nine of coins. You're right there to 10 of coins. You're right there. Keep going. A lot of you too, you are going to start getting the recognition that you so deserve. And this is um, this is a blessing from the universe. This is the universe, your ancestors, your guides clapping for you, saying job well done. There's more where that came from. Keep going. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of this is you're not questioning it. Spirit wants you to also continue to not question your path. If you are happy, if you are gleaning the fruits of your labor, you're on the right path. And Spirit wants you to know this is confirmation, Scorpio. You're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Don't question this. You are in your truth. You know what you're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. That is why you're seeing these results now. Like I said, a lot of you, you are on your way to being sovereign. You don't need nobody. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm just going to say this real quick. Um, 
For those of you, you know what's up already. Spirit said, you know what's up already. Listen to your intuition uh, about getting vaccines. Mm -hmm. Right? Use your intuition. I'm just going to drop that one on the table because I don't want YouTube to come for me. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, for some of you, you may be recovering from an illness and you're not very happy right now because it's taking too long. Spirit said to give yourself time to heal. You are being, your health is being restored. Mm -hmm. In the near future, your health is going to be restored. So be patient with yourself. Get the rest that you need. Take your time. Okay. Take care of yourself. Like I said, Spirit wants some of you to start switching over to being vegetarian or cutting back on meat products uh, or just basically increasing your uh, whole food intake, organic foods, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. Mm -hmm. You are aligning with your paradigm shift. You're aligning with the higher vibration of your world. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, Scorpio. Now, in terms of spirituality, Scorpies, some of you are not sticking to your own moral code. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to be true to yourself. Remember, true to your own uh, spirituality, right? It's not about um, being a follower. You're a leader. You're a natural born leader. You came here to lead. Mm -hmm. So spirit wants you to use your intuition on doing what is right for you. Not what anybody else thinks you should be doing or how they think you should be doing it or the reasons they're giving you why you should be doing. No. None of that shit. Not anymore. Not in this chapter of your life. Mm -mm. So spirit wants you to, your shift is you, the way you think, mm -hmm. the way you feel about things. Definitely in terms of your spirituality, do things that allow you to feel fulfilled within yourself, not anybody else. Okay. This is you being loyal to you. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a good kind of selfish. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm doing things that make me happy. I'm doing things because I am happy, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pull one more card. This is from the Whispers from Within. Whispers from Within Oracle deck. One more card for guidance and advice from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for your clear and concise messages for the Scorpio Collective. What guidance and advice do you have for the Scorpio Collective? Some of you Scorpios... Uh, Spirit wants you to, I'm hearing gaslighting. Spirit wants you to be aware of people trying to gaslight you. Some of you, you, as empaths, you attract narcissists and narcissistic sociopaths. Spirit wants you to use your intuition with these types of energies mm -hmm, because they may try to gaslight you or some of you have someone in your life right now who's trying to make you question your reality, question your beliefs, uh, question your own thoughts. Someone's trying to make you think that you're going cray-cray and there ain't nothing fucking wrong with you. They're just trying to manipulate you to get what you want, to get what they want from you. Someone wants something from you, Scorpio. And Spirit said to use your intuition and do not allow anyone to gaslight you. Hmm. Whoever that is for. Spirit said you'll know them by the fruits of their labor. They're fucking miserable. Mm -hmm. And nothing's going on for them in their life. Recognize these things. Misery loves company, right? But you don't have time for that. Someone in this collective, someone is trying to make you feel like a, a victim. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, although we all, um, we have to work with the cards we're dealt. Scorpio, let me tell you something. You don't have no victim cards in your deck, eh? So don't let anyone come try and make you feel like you're a victim, okay? You are not. You're too powerful for that. But someone, some of you may have someone around you that's trying to make you feel like you're weak or that you're not capable of manifesting something that you want. Some of you, you are going to be buying a home mm -hmm, or if you are looking to purchase a home, it's on its way. Uh huh. And let me tell you, Spirit wants you to know you can afford that shit all by your motherfucking self. Okay, because you are sovereign. Do not let anybody try to tell you you need them. You need their help to do something. No, you don't. Remember, you have new love coming in. Because you are stable and solid all by your damn self. Okay? Mm hmm And it's attractive. Yes. You being in bad mama jamma, bad bitch mode is attractive. Mm hmm So I don't know who that message is for, but it came out very strong. Very, very strong. Somebody is looking for land or property. You're going to get it. You're absolutely going to get it. Keep going. Keep building. 
Okay. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, okay. Ah, look at that. This one just gently fell out on my lap. Do what you love. Mm-hmm. Have more fun, Scorpies. I know this came out for you before. Now, because a lot of you are in work mode, some of you are in beast mode. You just work, 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 work. You know, submit a favor. No. <laughs> Spirit said, yes, have balance though. You can work and you can have fun, right? It's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Some of you, like I said, you've planted seeds um, from before this whole pandemic started and now you're starting to uh, reap the rewards, the benefits of that. Spirit wants you to know that it's okay to enjoy what you've worked for. What are you working for? Mm-hmm. Spirit wants you to discover activities that suit your current tastes and interests. Remember, be true to yourself. In this chapter of your life, Scorpio knows what Scor Scorpio knows who Scorpio is, and Scorpio knows what Scorpio wants. Do those things. Do things that you enjoy, right? Because this is going to allow you to continue to attract abundance into your life, and it's coming from a, sp a space of passion and purpose. What a beautiful combination. Make time to enjoy a hobby on a regular basis. Teach others by passing on your skills or knowledge. Like I said, I cannot make this shit up. Some of you I'm seeing 11, 11, 22, 33, master numbers. These are master numbers. You are master teachers. And the things that you know, some of you, it's ancient knowledge. Majority of you, it's ancient knowledge. Some of you, it's knowledge that's not even from this fucking planet. That this planet needs to shift the paradigm, shift the collective consciousness of just learning how to do things better. It's not about us going, coming for each other. It's about us loving ourselves so that we know how to love each other. Unity consciousness. Each one, teach one. If I can help you how to fish, you don't have to come beg my ass for shit all the time. And when you're ready, we have a cookout. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We can do some veggie burgers too. I like those. It's about living from a higher space, mm -hmm. seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing things, um, the bigger picture of things, right? Spirit wants you to join a new group or club. Some of you, you may meet this new person by doing just that, new things for a new life, right? This is Spirit's way of pushing you, giving you that little, okay, get out of hermit mode, I'm just working, go out and meet some people, go have some fun now, you deserve it. Go socialize. And I know it's lockdown time right now, but you can join some um, communities, do some Zoom meetings, you know, meet people. There's always a way. It's a, it's a choice. Spirit also wants you to choose the path or decision that brings you the most joy, right? Do what makes you happy. Happy people create happy experiences. Happy people do things that allow them to continue to be happy. Happy people make great things, mm -hmm. things that help other people. Spirit wants you to continue to do things like that. Scorpio, choose the path or decision that makes you feel fulfilled within, right? This is also comes down to your um your morals, right? Spirit wants you to do things that make you feel fulfilled and don't listen to nobody. Do you 100% boo-boo, okay? Because you're that's how you know you're on the right path when you're happy. Mm -hmm. from the inside out so it doesn't matter if someone is around or someone's not around you still gucci you know you're on the right path when you have that type of energy mm -hmm. do things that bring allow you to create um, joy for yourself and allow you to sustain your current level of happiness or allow you to go higher mm. okay scorpies this is what i have for you for any of you that this resonates with, smash that like button for me. I'd appreciate it. I appreciate you. Scorpies, I also want to personally thank you all for your um, your bookings for personal readings. Thank you. For those of you that um, have sent me good karma through your good karma donations, thank you so, so very much. You know, these things help me to take care of my family so that I can continue to show up as my higher self. You know, I'm not stressed out worrying about stuff. I am here. I am present and I'm giving you the best of myself. So thank you all for that. Uh, those beautiful gifts of uh, fair exchanges, just beautiful gifts of love and support. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate you. I send you all love, light and healing so that you can uh, continue to hold the light and the energy of happiness. So Scorpius, this is what I have for you, babies. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. And remember what I said, money, 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 money. Okay, I'm going to stop now. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. <laughs>